Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, The Stand-In, Drew Barrymore. So it's a story about, um, she's a com comedic actress for some reason, and uh, she has a stand-in and they start trading places. So it's like her stunt double takes over for her, is what I'm, I'm guessing, because they're showing the beginning of the film. Um, but here's the, you know, Drew Barrymore's in it, T.J. Miller is in it, and... Uh, Ali Kemper is in it, so there's some names in it, but evidently it's not that good. It's 4.5 in IMDb, 1,151 people have rated it so far. It's an hour and 42 minutes long. I'll get into it, find out what it's about, give you a better idea, and let you know if it's worth watching. Stick around. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of the stand-in. Uh, no check-ins tonight. Um, I was checking in on my phone most of the night, to be honest with you. I, I, I couldn't get in, into the film, um, and that could have just been me. But, I mean, judging by the, the scores on um, IMDb, I think a lot of people would think that. But she was not the um, stunt girl. She was actually her stand-in. So she would stand in when um, Candy Black was Drew Barrymore's, uh, the popular Drew Barrymore, the superstar, whatever her name. Um, but what basically happens is she she's a stand-in who just steps in every now and again, kind of looks like her, right? Um, and uh, Candy Black has a, a blowout where she flips out, you know, and and you know, and then she ends up uh, becoming a recluse and has to go to rehab. But she's gone for like five years, and she hires her stand-in, which is played by her, Drew Barrymore. Um, her name was Paula, to go to rehab for her. Well, then Paula decides to be like, hey, why don't we take advantage of this? You don't want to be in the public eye anymore. I do. I want to be popular and famous and stuff like that. So she starts like to do public appearances for her. And, uh, you know, and so, and Drew Barrymore, or not Drew Barrymore, Candy Black is happy to be home working on woodwork kind of stuff. And the other girl wants to go out and be famous. And then she ultimately wants to take over her entire life. And so on and so forth. So it's like, I, I, in the end, what I would say is it's like, you know, like famous rich people have problems too. And they don't want to be famous or rich. Whereas, you know, not famous, not rich people want to be famous and rich. And, you know, the trade-off of like oh be careful what you wish for that kind of stuff you know the, just being famous and rich is not all what it's cracked up to be um like that kind of stuff i don't know and, and that's what i got from it it's so i thought it was interesting to see how they because drew barrymore plays both herself and or plays candy black and um paula and it's neat to see them in the same frame i thought that was that was a pretty good job like i was like really okay you know, sometimes you can tell. Like, I couldn't even tell. I was, like, thinking to myself, huh. So they did a lot of work there, and, and she had to play two different characters in the same movie. Um, and I thought the actual Candy Black, when, after she flips out, she was a better character than, obviously, the Paula one. But the Paula one, you could tell, was 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 poorly done. <laughs> so, um, and there's no laughs. I didn't laugh once. So, um, I'm going to, it wasn't that interesting to me. I didn't laugh. The plot is, you know, trading places, all that kind of stuff. You've seen movies like where they, you know, I'm sure there's many more out there. I don't really even care to look it up. It was a stinker for me. I would avoid it um, if you have to pay for it. I don't know why. There's no recommendation on why you would watch this film, unfortunately. Even if you like Drew Barrymore, which I do. Um, and she does okay with one of the characters. <laughs> Other than that, there's not much else to see, but that's what we're stuck with now when we watch this many movies. Hopefully I helped you out. Maybe you liked it. Let me know what you thought. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Love the mansion. Um, but that's it. That's all I got for you. i sorry I don't have more because I didn't pay that much attention. That's how I thought of it. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Kim was Irish Pub.